Zhao Liping is a dancer and choreographer who has devoted her life to the art of dance. She was trained in traditional Chinese dance, flamenco, ballet, even traditional Indian dance, and has performed and choreographed many operas and dance performances around the world. Born in Suzhou, China, Zhao Liping started dancing at the age of seven at Suzhou's Sunflower Art and Literature Elementary School. By the age of 11, after competing against 100,000 applicants, Zhao Liping entered the prestigious Beijing Dance Academy. After graduating in 1984, Zhao joined China's leading song and dance troupe, the Oriental Song and Dance Ensemble. Since 1962, the troupe has performed Chinese music and dance all over China and across 70 countries around the world, while introducing exotic dance performances to people in China. In 1997, Zhao faced tragedy as her husband Tao Jing passed away from cancer. Dubbed the Chinese Michael Jackson, Tao Jing was a singer, dancer and actor with many adoring fans across China that were devastated by his passing. For Zhao Liping, the passing of Tao Jing affected her professionally as well as taking a toll on her health. In 1998, Zhao Liping returned to dance when she was chosen to be the lead dancer for Giacomo Puccini's legendary opera Turandot. The opera was directed by renowned Chinese filmmaker Zhang Yimou and was performed in Florence, Italy. In 2016, Zhao started her own dance troupe called The Oriental Dancers. The group is preparing to perform a new show called Original Home, which is based on Zhao's dream of her hometown of Suzhou during ancient times. We first spoke to Zhao in her hometown of Suzhou, where we discussed her childhood, the beauty of Suzhou, and how Suzhou has influenced her art. So you were born here. Where's your old house? Is it somewhere like this? Yes, uh, but not really exactly. My home, very similar like, uh, you know, park. Mm. They call the uh, Lime Park. Okay. Very famous. Well, I mean, Suzhou is the city famous for its all these gardens, right? Yes, it's tradition right. of the yeah. garden arts. Mm -hmm. But it's also famous for scenes like this where the river... All these houses are like old buildings, right? That's right. Yeah. So Suzhou is a long history city. This is the, the city with a history of at least, I don't know, 2,000, even 3,000 years? I think so, yeah. It used to be the capital of one of the ancient kingdoms at the time. I think so, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yes. See, this is the... Uh, Typical yes. Suzhou. It's beautiful. River, lantern, yes. house, bridge. Yeah. So Suzhou is a city of garden, and scenes like this, I guess, yes. we see a lot. Yes. That's uh, typical, you know, Suzhou's uh, view. Especially when I was a uh, little girl, mm. my home just besides this kind of garden. That's a privilege to be able to live in, really, <laughs> in all these ancient gardens, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. So, see, this is a typical Suzhou. It's all beautiful, huh? Yeah, all, all the fish, fish, water, pavilion. Yeah. So, what do you think is the biggest influence Suzhou on you? I think Suzhou, all those you see the view, and uh, all the, the history, people, and the city, mm. they have like a personality, city's personality. Mm. Okay? A city's personality. That's right. That's interesting. What a kind of personality? What kind of a personality? Elegant. Okay. Delegancy. Yes. So that's gradually, when I was a little girl, gradually, gradually influenced to me. Yeah. Into my... Uh, like a blood. Your blood, your genes. Yes. When I do even very, very small things, I try to make it perfect. Exquisite. Yes, that's right. Mm. So... What about, what about your art then? What do you think is Suzhou's influence on your art? Once I thought, you know, when I was in Suzhou, I see the beautiful river mm. and the fish. I said, wow, it's such beautiful things. Mm and make me wanted to make some dance about it. 
and it was 2005 in a Chinese New Year show. I created the dance named The Lucky Fish. You know, and inspired fi by your experience in Suzhou. That's right. When I'm here, I watch, watch this fish mm. as beautiful fish and beautiful view. And then I think about it, why I uh, do something about it. Mm. All right? So uh, this is the basic you know, idea from here. So That's do you come, come back to Suzhou a lot these days still? Yes, I think uh, you know, at least once a year. OK. Or sometimes twice a year. Right. Yeah. Because so your, your family is still here. Still here, yes, yeah. that's right. And yeah. do you think in the future, this will still be one of at least your sources for your inspiration in your choreography? Of course. Actually, you know, recently, I uh, uh, just uh, created the choreographer one of the uh, uh, show's dance mm. named the uh, Regional Hometown. I had my dream, okay, yeah. about my uh, hometown. Yes. All right. This is the hometown means Suzhou. Yes, that's right. Mm. And, and not exactly, you know, you see the view, but you think about that's in the uh, dream. That's really, really beautiful. Yes. And uh, I uh, go back to a very, very long time ago, like mm. a 1,000 or 800 years ago. Yes, cultural me. roots, say. That's okay. Right. And, uh, you know, I uh, wanted to reach the uh, sunshine, right. beautiful sunshine. And this kind of the uh, feeling that's come from uh, my hometown. Also inspired that's by right. Sucho. Yes, that's right. Enjoying all the beautiful sights of Sucho beat up our appetites. So Zhao took us to a restaurant called Huang Tianyuan, a childhood restaurant that Zhao still frequents today when she's in town. Well, thank you for taking me to this restaurant, but why this restaurant? Because this restaurant, that's my favorite when I was a little girl. So many beautiful food, dessert. Mm. I love it so much. But it doesn't okay. really look like a, um, an old restaurant that existed decades ago. Because China had big progress, right? Okay. And then Suzhou had a big pro okay. progress too. So. But no. the food is the same. The food is exactly the same. It was as delicious as we can taste today. Yes. Do you think the city has been changing? I mean, what do you notice as the biggest changes in the city of Suzhou? The city has so much big change and more modern than modern. So, and have you also changed? Yes, me too, yeah. So when I was a little girl, I was a typical you know, Suzhou girl, mm. okay? And then I uh, went to Beijing, went to Dance Academy. Mm and learned so many years for, for dance. And uh, later on, I uh, uh, went to, you know, the Oriental Song and Dance Ensemble, mm. go around the world. This a period, I have big change too. So myself, I have big change. I learned so much things, so much different, different culture and arts too. So I think, yeah, I have big change. Sucho is not very much like an international city. It's yes. more like yourself. Yeah. You were born here. You were raised here. You went to Beijing, and now you also have a career in Australia. It's yes. almost like, you know, you, your story reflecting the development like of Suzhou. the city of Sucho. That's right. After our delicious meal, we visited Zhao's old elementary school, the Sunflower Art and Literature Elementary School, where we spoke to her old instructor, Ma Zhizhong. Uh. 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 Xue 
，好像进步就更快一点。嗯，动作到位，准确，而且就是完全能够按照就是排练的要求啦，就是。呃，如果差一点的话，他会自己在空余的时间就去反复的练，呃，所以最后被选上，应该也是很很自然的了，嗯，也是呃理所当然的Culture Express. See the world in color. After visiting Zhao Liping's hometown of Suzhou, we went to her studio in Beijing, where her latest dance troupe, the Oriental Dancers, was practicing the latest project. Original home. We continued to discuss Zhao's life and dance career in Beijing. Yes, one more thing. Yes. You have a uh, deep understanding of what dance really is. It seems to me that your understanding of dance, the genre, is somehow different from maybe when you first started started doing it. Of course, yes, of course. This the like uh, three period. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the first period, when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. 11 years old, I started, you know, to learn dance. That's a professional way. Professional training. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. And in Beijing that, Dance Academy. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I was so lucky, you know, amount more than 100,000 kids. 100,000? More than in that city. As we see it. In one city. That's right. Wow. And then they're choosing. They put on the music. You don't understand what is it. And then you have to dance. And then from this, you can see they can see you good on it or not. Your talent. Yes, that's right. Many, okay? Did you receive any training before that test? Yes. You did? Yeah, I did. When I was a kid from okay. uh, seven years old, my hometown, they have the uh, boarding school. Uh, all the, boarding uh, school as a time? Yeah, boarding school, mm -hmm. okay? We live there and once a week I come back home just one day. They're training kids like a, who have a talent for singing, oh for play instrument and dancing training and some people painting too. Uh -huh. So, and once a week or twice a week, we're gonna have a performance too. Uh -huh. And also for the uh, foreign, like a govern, governor official. Okay. We, we had a performance for the uh, president of Cambodia. Wow. Yes. Uh -huh. And so on. So. Before I went to Beijing Academy, I already, you know, doing this. Had some for, foundation. Yes, yeah. that's right. So at that time, I think dancing is beautiful. That's why, uh, you know, mm. I, I love, love dancing. The second period, when I was dancer working for the Oriental Song and Dance Ensemble, I was a good dancer. But I think, you know, this is my job. Mm. I have to do it. I have to try my best to do it, mm. okay? In the third period, my late husband passed away. In my life, touching is my first love and deep love. And uh, at that time, I lost him. That's 
you know, really, really pain. This is actually the 20th anniversary yes. of his passing away yes. in 97. Yes. He's a dancer, choreographer, he's a movie star. Singer. A singer. He was such a huge star at the time. Can you tell us, I mean, how, how successful he was, I mean, how big a star he was at the time? When he was like a 23, mm -hmm. before 24, he was very young. But he's very, very talented for the arts. And uh, also, he is always want to do something big. At that time, and also he loves all those, uh, like Michael Jackson. He loved it so much. And then at that time, you know, China is not so open yet in the 80s. No. He tried his best to find all those information, okay? Like uh, watch it, read it, whatever. And then practicing. He's the first one, you know, bring all those really, really new, okay? And then to China. Many times he was on the stage. I was dancing for him too. Okay, I see all those audiences so crazy, all really, really crazy. They, they scream, they really, you know, I mean, oh, they love it. They give the flower, all those through to the stage, all those, all those young people. The tragedy is in when his career was at his, at his height and when your life was at his height and all of a sudden, you discovered he was suffering actually from cancer and it was at the late stage. How did you manage to deal with that? When I saw all those friends, his friends especially, all our friends, I just couldn't talk and then mm. keep crying, crying. And I couldn't, you know, eat anything. At that time, I think maybe just 32, 33 kilo. Wow. And I went to hospital for three months. My stomach keep bleeding, keep bleeding. And um, I couldn't sleep either. Maybe every night, just one hour, 40 minutes, something like that. And I'm just thinking, how can I live anymore? I, and also I think my, my soul just go with him already. And I don't know what is the real meaning for life anymore. What for? I think I live in the world. Actually, I've, I thought about it, really exactly want to, you know, think about it. Wanted to buy the, you know, sleeping medicine. Yeah. I want to take it because it's too suffering, really. You want to? I want to just finish. I, I couldn't, you know, continue anymore because it's really, really hard, really hard. I couldn't sleep. If I sleep and close my mind and he's in my mind. So, um, it was uh, very easy to think about. I wanted to finish it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think my parents can feel it. My sister, too. So they keep all those things away from me. And um, a few times when I, my, my mother, I think she cried more than me. And she looked at me and she said, please, if you have something happen to you, whole family were gone. Please don't be so selfish. At that time, I uh, was, got many times call from the Turandot because before, uh, Tao Jin passed away. I already got invitation to be the uh, one of the uh, 
little dance in this show. Directed by Zhang Yimou. Yes, that's right. Mm. Because at that time I have to look after Na Tao Jin. I cannot go. Mm -hmm. So I reviewed it. And um, the second year in 1998, they keep, you know, calling. My parents tried to persuade me. And then I said, no, 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 no. No, mm -hmm. I couldn't. I really couldn't. And my father wrote a letter for me, long letter. Said, if you continue like this, it's not only you go worse, whole family. So please don't be so selfish. You got to do something. Now you have the best opportunity. Why just go ahead, just try it. From that, then I said, okay, I want to try. Culture Express. See the world in color. So when I uh, started working, and at that working moment, I didn't think about that, mm -hmm. the pain. I totally forgot it. I just concentrate in the character I played. I just totally concentrate how can I be good on the stage. When I come back to the hotel or come back to home, on the bed, I still feel suffering, pain, but gradually, 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 it helps. Yeah. But Torrendo, it was a major production and it was extremely successful, directed by Zhang Yimou. Did you also travel with the group to perform yes. in, in the West? Yes, that's right, mm. in the Europe. Uh, first of all, in 1998, I was the uh, leader dancer in the mm. show. Because in this show, in the beginning, um, I was dancer who can, you know, choreographer for me. Mm. And then Zhang Yimou, he said, no, not get through. No good, not get through. Many, many times, try it, try it. And then I was thinking, because in this, you know, um, character, I was killer. Mm. In the normal Torandot, the killer is really big and strong, all right? And they hold the knife. Zhang yeah? Yimou thinking they want a different. They want something tiny woman and beauty or something mm. and use the, uh, you know, soft knife to kill. That's why they wanted me to be this character. Mm -hmm. Then I'm thinking, what is really knife? It's too, you know, obviously. Mm. And, you know, the silk. Ah. The silk. That looks very Chinese. Yes, that's right. And then, what about all oh, those silk painted like a blood? Huh. Gradually, black to red, the blood. Oh. And I crock for myself because I know. With the silk. That's right. And... Uh, and that was the first time you were involved in choreography. That's right. After I finished everything, and, and Mr. Zhang said, wow, good, pass. I was so happy, I was like, wow, mm. you know? Encouraged me, really. And then gradually, gradually, I involved with the choreographer. Mm. And that's in 1998. And later on in 2004, 2005, 
we you know, performed in this stadium, big stadium. Mm. I was invited to be the general executive director for the Twin Dot. Wow. Yeah, but we two, one the other guy, yeah. two of us. Yeah. So that time also for me, that's a really big challenge. First of all, at that time as the leader dance in the Twin Dot, mm. I find it, wow, the director said that I'm good. I'm so happy. So that's really, really gradually, gradually. Mm. Yeah, that's the way out of the uh, not pain. Mm. If without dance, I think I don't know where I am now. Because dance make me rebirthed. Mm. Now, Never. can you also tell us more about your latest project, the one that you, you and your team members are now working on? We call it the Oriental Dancer. And also I wanted planning next year set up the same thing in Australia too. Mm. And we wanted to show international audience what is the uh, Chinese, you know, classical dance. We mix with uh, something you know new something interesting mm. like a fashion elements like you know the style that's the all the contemporary style mm. okay because all our team that's all young generation okay mm. so yeah that's what we want now if you get the chance to meet you but in 10 years time and what would you like to say to her be happy and uh, be healthy and give the love to people, mm. especially for the poor people and who is really, you know, wanted to really, really love dance or have talent, have talented for the dance. I can do something for them. That, that's what I really wanted to do. That yeah. would also be, I guess, our best wishes. Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. It's really lovely. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.